So what you do with your hands in the bathroom is kind of big business. Hand dryers or old school paper towels, which is better? Howdy hand washers, this is Trace from D News investigating a long fought battle. Are hand dryers truly better than paper towels? Jennifer Esco, we saw your question and here's your answer, no. Thanks for watching DNews, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. There are a lot of assertions out there on both sides of the paper towel versus hand dryer debate, but most of the studies that I read were funded by paper companies. Not so trustworthy. In one of the Mayo Clinic studies, the co-author served as a consultant for a paper towel manufacturer even. So keep this in mind for the next couple of minutes. Firstly, this affects a lot of people, but the point isn't noise necessarily or proper use or whatever. As far as cost, environmentally, air dryers were considered better because of the lack of waste. The energy cost to harvest, manufacture, ship, store, and dispose of paper was vast in comparison. But which is better at stopping the spread of bacteria? Wet hands are popular with bacteria. Pathogens on wet hands transfer much more easily than on dry ones. So don't wipe your mitts on your pants because you may as well have skipped the sink altogether. One study suggested air dryers can disperse bacteria up to three feet away, but it wasn't published in any journals that I could find. Unfortunately for paper people, a study in Canada published in the American Journal of Infection Control found paper itself can host bacteria with recycled hosting more than virgin paper. Don't act so surprised. It's not like these little plastic wall units are hermetically sealed or anything, and paper is made in a mill, which is not a sterile environment. According to that controversial Mayo Clinic study I mentioned, a cloth towel is the most efficient at actually drying your hands, taking only 10 seconds to get 96% of water off. Jet dryers and paper towels, they tied, both getting 90% dry after 10 seconds. But as far as bacteria sampling, you might be surprised to hear this, but the collection of studies they sampled seemed to find it a draw. So whichever you choose, use it right, spend enough time to dry your hands, and don't flick your bacteria water on the floor or whatever. By the way, in general, we just suck at hand washing. Michigan State University students camped out in restrooms to see who was washing and who wasn't for a study in 2013. Turns out, most of you are pretty gross. Only 5% of people actually wash their hands enough to get rid of bacteria. Yeah, 5%. Six to seven seconds under the water with a bit of soap? Nah, bro, you're doing it wrong. Lots of lather, soapy, soapy, soapy for 20 seconds, then it's time to go over to the dryer. Thanks for the question, Jennifer. Sorry there is no solid answer. They'll just be locked in battle for all eternity, just like me and my bladder during halftime. I'd ask if you washed your hands, but we already know that you're not doing it right anyway. So instead, I'll ask, what is your bathroom etiquette pet peeve? What pissed you off, so to speak? Tell us about it down in the comments and subscribe for more D News.